I'm sorry to bother you so late, but Sonny wanted me to speak I'm to you I'm not about interested it. in any messages from Sonny. He actually wanted to tell you this face to face, but he needs to stay at the hospital with Claudia. She's in really bad shape. And the baby may not make it. I'm sorry. Sonny and Claudia must be going through hell right now, but it's, it's really none of my business. But Sonny wanted me to explain to you. Sonny doesn't owe me any explanations, okay? Anything that he needs to say, he can call me tomorrow, okay? You know, Claudia was in a serious car accident. Yes, I know. I, I happen to be in the, in the same room with her brother when he got the call, so it's terrible. Yeah, but Sonny wanted me to tell you that he's certain the baby is his. And regardless of his feelings for you, his obligation is to his child and his family. Sonny is a committed father, and I respect that, and I'm glad he's doing the right thing. Okay, I'm praying for Claudia and the baby. Now you need to go. Well, when things settle down, he's gonna, he's gonna come talk to you. Sonny owes me nothing. I do not need or want to hear from him again. What are you doing? Oh, I'm calling Grandma. I'm not going back to Bensonhurst. You are. I am not going back to Bensonhurst. And you don't get to tell me what to do with my life. What are you thinking, hooking up with Sonny Corinthos? I'm not hooked up with Sonny Corinthos. Uh, he's the married man you were just talking about, the one who's got you all tied up in knots. You're jumping to conclusions. Like hell I am. Look in my eyes and tell me I'm wrong. Go ahead, lie to me. You don't get to tell me what to do with my personal life. Sonny is in the hospital with his pregnant wife, and he's worrying about you. So much so that he sends Jason Morgan over here to tell you that he can't come by, but he will when he can. Okay. Okay, maybe I didn't say no to Sonny forcefully enough, all right? Maybe I let him get the wrong idea, so... The wrong idea, Mom. You, this is not an average gangster you're dealing with here. This is Sonny Kritos. He owns the town. Honey, I know that. I figured that out for myself, all right? Then you ought to know that you're in danger, Mom. Honey, this, this is not a world you want to be a part of. Nothing happened. Nothing will. Something already has. Nothing I can't handle. So this is why you came to Port Charles, huh, Mom? So you get close to Sonny. <laughs> Come on, you'll be way happier back at home. We'll get you a little job back. We'll get you hooked up with somebody nice. You can, you can play bingo on Sundays oh, at the parish hall. Be still my heart. Why? Wait, you want excitement? Go to Coney Island. Just stay away from Sonny. It's already too late. Too late for what? Don't, do you know what? Don't even answer that. Honey, it's not like I'm encouraging the guy. Well, Sonny obviously thinks you are, so whatever you're doing, maybe you should stop. The last time I checked, I was still a parent here. Well, then act like it. Sonny's playing you for a fool. He, he's, he's taking care of his, his wife and kids and then stringing you along, like having a little something on the side hey, is never a bad enough. thing. enough. You don't get to talk to me like that. Mom, look, I love you. And it will kill me to see you hurt by this guy. That's why I left Sonny Corinthos all those years ago, before you were even born. I'm not going back on that decision now. Ronnie, yeah, look, I'll call you later. This is a bad time. Yeah, all right, I'm on it. Everything okay? No, Ma, you're in deep trouble. Get back to bed and nurse while you still can. Yeah. Hey, I was worried about you. How was your sister? Claudia's headed into brain surgery. Oh my God. Yeah, she could be taking a medication that would heal her just as well. But it might harm the baby, so she's having her head cut into instead. I know you don't want to hear this, but um, as a mother, I can understand why she would make that choice. I don't. I mean, Claudia's putting her life on the line. Not that sound cold, but she can have another baby. So I take it you try to talk her out of it? Yeah, well, to no avail. I don't know. Here. 
Okay, I gotta go. You can wait in here. The doctors will come speak to you after the surgery. Where'd you go? Went to talk to Patrick Drake. Not that it's any of your damn business. Claudia made her decision, Johnny. Leave the doctors alone. Oh, what? So all of a sudden you're Claudia's loyal husband or big protector who cares so much? You know what, Johnny? I'm not proud of the way I treated your sister, but she gave as good as she got. But there's one thing we agree on. And that's the baby. Oh, the baby, huh? Were you thinking about Claudia and the baby when you were shoving your tongue down Olivia's throat? No, there was other things I was thinking about, and I'm not getting into it with you. Hey, you don't want to get into it, Sonny, because you don't want this baby, and you don't want any permanent ties to Claudia, and that's the only reason you agreed to this damn surgery, because she might die, and you might be free. Get out of here before I break your neck. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> that's what I thought. I've been called worse things. What the hell are you doing here? Sorry for intruding. I heard about your wife's accident. But something's come up and you and I need to deal with it. Now. Hey, Nurse Johnson, um, have you seen John Zakara? In the waiting room. To impress me with your initiative. I get this time it couldn't be worse. But not telling you would be disloyal. So tell me who to bring this to. Jason Morgan, maybe?